Hey, the one that's NHL Hawk News reports so are back in the video, and we have some news of the day to talk about. Uh, yes, we do have some points. Not much as we're going to have pretty soon about the trade deadline. That will be March uh, 3rd of 2023. Yes, very soon um, we will have the deadline. First, a couple of big trades already happened. Horvat, Teosinko, of course, Horvat going to the Islanders, and Velmi and Teosinko going to the Rangers. Two big names off the board. There are still a lot of names on the board that could be taken at the deadline. But we still have some time to see how things work out. So we have some news here. Injury, stuff like that, a little trade talk. Uh, so let's get into it first. Starting off with the Devils, New Jersey. Jack Hughes might return tomorrow. This is good news for the Devils, obviously, um, to continue the playoff hunt here. They've been a very good team this year. Um, a team that, you know, wanted to make the playoffs and I think it's really ex exceeding um, expectations of being that playoff team. I thought maybe they thought they were around wild card, but hey, they've been in the Metro, the thick of the Metro, in the one through three spots there, so that's exceeding expectations for sure for them. So Jack Hughes has been fantastic. That is the franchise center, and that is the guy for a long time to come. So it's good to see him back. He was out for long, but he is back again, so good for him um, as he gets ready for his first playoff time he never had before, so good for him. Uh, moving on now to the Montreal Canadiens. So Monaghan is traveling with the team. Doesn't mean that he'll be playing anytime soon, like on the road, that four-game road trip. He will be going to Carolina, but doesn't mean that he'll be playing at all. It doesn't sound like he's going to be playing that four-game road trip. He's just traveling with the guys. So that's what he's doing. Edmondson is skating. Something that could be close to return. And sad news also, all the Jack guy is out indefinitely. So I think that's an upper body injury he had. So he is out indefinitely now. That definitely stings. He had a really good season. Um, obviously not being drafted by the OHL, not being drafted by the NHL, and just being this guy who had to really get himself uh, into an OHL job, doing fantastic then after he wasn't drafted, and then got the Canadians tryout and did fantastic, you know, not bad, and got himself a contract and. This year, how he's been playing as a rookie, been fantastic. Definitely a fan favorite for the Montreal Canadiens and Albert Jack guys. So, we'll see what happens with him. You know, he had five goals this year. Leads the um, NHL in penalty minutes. Yeah, but that's what he is. That's the type of defenseman he is. And he will be out indefinitely. Who knows if that means the rest of the season. It could be. That would be sad. But if it's not, it would be nice to have him back. We'll see what happens for sure. So, uh, yeah, sad news there, but Montreal, definitely an up-and-coming team as you look at the defense of the Canadians. Barron, Gooley, Jacki, um, Harris, obviously Gooley's coming back pretty soon after being out for like six to eight weeks. So he's getting closer also. So, you know, having that four or five good young guys, and Kovacevic, who's a rookie, but he's like 25 or older rookie, but uh, very good also there too. So moving on now to the Kings, Mikey Anderson has signed a $4.125 million extension for eight years. Yes, eight years. Um, I think he has 12 points for the season. The points are not going to wow you at all. Not at all. That's not what we're looking at. That's not why they signed him to that $4.125 million contract. He's a good, solid defenseman. He's really responsible on his own end. And if you watch him, you'll see that you have respect for him, what he has done. I know people say King's defense isn't good, but he is not the reason why it's not. So, you know, obviously the Kings want to add Jacob Kitchen and all that stuff. But if they want to add him, that's helping him out. That's helping the team out. Along with Mikey Anderson, who is the future of the uh, defense of the blue line for the uh, Kings for sure. So, good for them. They really like him. And, hey, down the road, this is definitely going to be a bargain. As the cap goes up, you know, if it goes up 90 to 90 million pretty soon, and plus, um, this cap hit is going to look like a bargain, and you got him locked down for it until he's 32. He's 23 right now, so that is such a great deal for the Kings. Congratulations to them for getting that deal done, and it's going to look really well. All right, moving on now to the... Colorado Avalanche, Josh Manson has been activated from injured reserves to get a defenseman back, but some bad news here, um, Johnson and Fensos will be out 
on the aisle for weeks. They said, so you lose a defenseman and you lose a goalie, you know, weeks. So, um, is it enough to get someone, to have enough cap to bring someone in? I don't think so, but, you know, I don't think they'll be out for the rest of the season. Um, I think they'll be back before the playoffs, though. That's the thing. So, if you had, you know, six million as Johnson and Fansos is like two million. Johnson's off the books after this year of six million. But just to think if they can do like a trade deadline thing. Obviously, they're still going to do something for sure. But just thinking about cap and all of that. Uh, Johnson and Fansos out on the aisle for weeks. So we'll see what happens there. How they do as Gurgiev continues to be that guy for them. And we'll see who gets called up to play with Gurgiev. So, yeah. So out for trade reasons. Uh, two guys, I'm sure you already know. The last... Uh, Kavagov and Jacob Kitchen are the two guys who are out so far with uh, trade reasons. Make them healthy scratches because they don't want these guys to get injured, especially like Kavagov. He's a very good shutdown guy. If he blocks a shot and he gets injured, that gets rid of any trade possibilities, any ideas of getting rid of him and getting something back in return. So the best thing to do is right now just make him healthy scratch. And just wait and see if you can get a great return. And you're going to get a great return knowing this guy has great, you know, that just solid defenseman, at-home defenseman, which he is. So we'll see who picks him up. I know people are saying a lot of the Oilers. That makes a good um, good idea there. Uh, we'll see what happens. And Jacob Kitchen obviously, has been rumored a lot, but now they're holding him off right now to see what happens if they get a deal done at the deadline. If. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. He has a little term left. Jacob Kitchen, I think, two years after this year. So, there was some term. They're waiting to get the best offer. So, he might not be traded this deadline, but he could. So, that's why they're just holding off. See what happens. He could play another Arizona Coyotes game to the end of the season. And then, by the offseason, I definitely could see him being traded by then. But, it could be the off. It could be the trade deadline, for sure. Which is March 3rd. So we'll see what happens for sure. This is news of the day. Obviously we have. We'll see what happens um, with this. So that's the next video. On this NHL News Sports. That's the next video. Bye.